Hi there. Good to speak with you. Um, we've got the final home game for West Ham coming up this weekend against Man City. How have the preparations been ahead? Uh, good. Well, we've probably for the first time we've had a, a sort of full week to prepare, and uh, no, looking forward to it. Really tough game against a good team, but uh, hopefully we'll be ready to to go come Sunday. In terms of team news, have you got any concerns about Saeed and Ramon Mikel Antonio? Uh, sides sides are a little bit of a question mark. Uh, back out doing some some light jogging and whatnot, so maybe not as bad as we thought, but. Uh, but I'm not quite sure he, if he's as well as uh, being fit. So we'll know a bit more come tomorrow. What's the nature of the injury? It's an ankle injury. Yeah. Um, and of course, you know, West Ham did so well in the European League this season. And did you do have the chance to secure the European football for next season as well. How important is it for the players and for yourself to be back playing in that competition? Well, it'd be a, it would be a really great achievement for us to do it. I think after having our first year in it and going quite far in the competition, then we we hope that we can we can get back in amongst it again. But uh, look, there's some good sides. We want to be in European football. You know, if we if we can be in the Europa League, that would be fantastic. If we could, if we end up in the Conference League, well, that'll be great as well. But uh, we're aiming to try and see if we can finish in the Europa League, and uh, hopefully we can do that. And it is Mark Noble's final home game. Mm -hmm. How emotional do you think Sunday will be for him, for the team? And for I'm sure it'll be hugely emotional for for Mark and his family because uh, you know, you know, when you're sort of saying you're retiring from football, it's a big thing to do. You know, when you've you've had a, a career, when you're a footballer, your career's never that long. But uh, I think you appreciate it when you start at 15, 16 as an apprentice, and you're finishing now at 35. So. To do it at one club is a, a huge achievement. It's not done by many people nowadays, and uh, great credit to him for Martin, the way he's conducted himself throughout his career as a player. He's terrific off the pitch. For me personally, he's been excellent since uh, since I've come back, and even on the first occasion, he was very good. So overall, uh, I'm sure it will be emotional, but I think in the end, he'll he'll think I've had a really good career when he looks back at it. How important has he been to the team this season, particularly as he hasn't played that much off the pitch for yourself as well? He's been he's been huge. I mean, you know, during the pandemic, he played a big part in in all the things that were going on. You know, between the the, the club captains, but even when it was you know between our our players and the owners and uh, different things were going on at the clubs, Mark played a huge part. He helped me an awful lot, as I said when I came in, because he he uh, gave me an idea of what was required, what was needed. Steered, steered me in the right direction on one or two things and uh, he's a really good sounding board and I think that you need you need people behind you now who you can you can go to you can speak with and uh, he'll be certainly missed uh, in the dressing room next year What kind of legacy do you think he'll leave behind? Sorry? What kind of a legacy do you think he'll leave behind? Well I think he's left it with his playing career and his, his loyalty I think he's left so many things you know he's played for one club never moved uh, played continuously at the highest level wherever West Ham have been, so I think from that point of view he'll be he'll be renowned. But I think he'll be really missed at the club. You know he's very good round the young players here. He set some great examples. Even now he's setting great examples to to how they should behave and and how they how they sort of go about their their business as trying to be young professionals. And he's also helping train up some of our players as well in in becoming good leaders and. And good players around the club. Thank you. James, on the uh, injury news, so Antonio and Dawson are fit? Uh, they've trained today, yes. How would you rate their chance? Yeah, I think they'll be okay, yeah. Um, and Declan Rice, uh, are you even you surprised at how well he's played this season, his form, and is he continuing to improve? Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm really pleased because he's been so important for us. He's played played really, really well this year. And uh, I've said many times, I think maybe with the exception of Harry Kane certainly in the, in the second half of the season I think Declan Rice has is, is probably been the pick of, of the England players who played in the Euros last year who's been consistent uh, has played well since since game one to, to where we are now so that, that says a lot because it's tough you know I think a lot of the England players have, have just had a little bit of dip after you've seen a lot of them coming back into form now but, uh, but I think Declan right from the start has been really good how much better can he get? I hope he continues to get better. He's got lots of improvement in him. We've talked about Mark Noble there, and we, you know, he'll learn a lot about him and leadership, and you know, and taking responsibility. Uh, 
on and off the pitch and uh, he's a young man and he'll get better with, with experience. Not to put too much pressure on his shoulders, but do you think he's an England captain in the way? Uh, I've said many times I do. Yeah, I think that I, I actually don't think it's too far away. I think that he's uh, he's his form would would dictate that. Uh, he captains West Ham at the moment, so he's certainly going down that line. He's turned down a lucrative offer from the club. Is there anything more do you feel the club can do to keep Declan Rice here longer than his contract? We've got him here at the moment, and uh, you know we'll take take a year at a time, and we'll see how it goes. Are you concerned at all about the interest in the summer that may come for him? Not at all, no. Thank you, Dave. Emma? David, um, it, it's a big game, isn't it, for both teams on Sunday. Would you rather you weren't playing Manchester City, considering what you could do with the points yourself, or do you relish... I, I'm I'm looking forward to playing against the best. And we, we, at the start of the year, we said, you know, could we try and challenge the best teams in the league, see how well we could go against them. And we've done okay. In some occasions, we've done done okay. Other occasions, maybe just missed out. But Man City are, you know, are obviously really really tough. And uh, you know, it's going to be going to be difficult. But I'm looking forward to it because it's it's a challenge for us and something which uh, we want to we want to see how we can do. They're scoring goals for fun, not letting many in, without no. giving too much away. How do you go about beating Manchester City? Well, I hope they've used up all their goals and uh, they've got their, their duty concede a few. That's the way I look at it. And uh, look, we need to try and defend incredibly well, try and keep them out the best we can. And uh, the meanwhile, you know, try and hurt them. They've got one or two uh, injuries, so we have to try and see if we can if we can do something to maximise that. When you look at the amount of money they've spent on players, they're continuing to spend on players, do you see that there's a, still, there is a gap even in the top half of the Premier League? Ah, there's a huge gap with the spend and I don't think Man City are going away I think Man City are here to stay and uh, I think everybody's going to have to get used to that now because of you know look, they're, they're, not only are they a good team they're a really well run business they look as if their business is run incredibly well they've got structure to how they do things they've got you know uh, a way about their signings they're, they're only really in need of a, a certain type of player and you know and probably the top top level of player so it's something which uh, you know a lot of clubs will look to but obviously uh, they've had great funding over many years Manchester City and, and they continue to get that so it is getting much harder to compete and be competitive with them but look I've always said I hope money is not the biggest thing in football. I've always thought that you always hope that you could be a side who maybe without that much money you can you can beat a team or you can win something and like over over recent years we've seen uh, like for example Leicester winning the Premier League not so long ago. So we've got to hope that there's still those opportunities out there. You say that but Man City could be winning the Premier League for the fourth time in five years. Mm -hmm. Does that suggest that there isn't a real kind of uh, well, I think that I think that would be unfair when you look at how the challenge with Liverpool have put up to Man City in the last couple of years and the points total both teams are getting. I think you'd have to say they're incredible, those two teams. And let's be fair, I think we all probably expected to see Liverpool and Manchester City in, in the final of the, the Champions League, which is also telling you that arguably they're the best two teams in Europe, you know, give or take. So from that point of view, that's why the competition is so tough in the Premier League. But... We, and that's why our league is so strong. You know, we we've uh, we've drawn with Manchester City here in the in the cup earlier in the season. We we lost two one at, at their place. So we've got to try and make sure we keep the games as tight and as close as we possibly can, and and maybe hope that it's maybe we can get a chance to get the the one goal advantage. You consider that a draw to you in the league cup because you did beat them. Yeah, but it was a draw because it went in penalty kicks, so it doesn't. I don't see it as a as a as a win really. It was a win in a cup competition. But I think the other games, I think over the over recent seasons, we've actually done a pretty good job against Man City and put on a good a good performance. So we'll need to play really well against them because they have got such a big prize at the end of it in the next few days and or next week or so. Thank you, David. Okay, cameras off, please. Thank you.